Hello and welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. We have just finished the in doing the interior designing, the interior decorating of the church, and now we're going to go check on the refugees. We are going to see what they need, see what we can build, and we'll see if there's anything we can do today. We do, of course, have the desire for the kitchen going. Um, we are one wheat seed short. So we must have grown some wheat or something. Yes, so we can bring some wheat up. That does mean they need that kitchen going, though, because I believe it's the kitchen that turns it into everything else. So for that, we need the cooking table. That's Fitch and Nails and Refugee Happiness, which we have. So we are going to just teleport back to the house, get some wheat seeds, and some Fitch and Nails. So I will take the nails, I will take the Fitch, and we'll be able to just duck down here and pick up some more wheat seeds. With the return being very, very close, I don't think we'll need too many. Um, probably just... Let's go for... 10. Well, wrong way. Okay. Nope. 10. Okay. That should keep them pretty happy up there. So, we should be able to now do this pretty easy once this is done. What I'm thinking, though is we're gonna head up by foot. We're gonna put away some of the things here. My my goal here is I want to stop in and check on our, uh, our bees, our bee friends. So we're gonna have to be going up or coming down one of the ways, so it doesn't really matter which. Uh, we still don't have enough blue to get that bee friend as well, so they are going to sting us a little. Oh. But that won't be the only thing actually hurting us because for some reason I keep forgetting bats spawn up here. There we go. We've got some honey. This should give us at least some honey. Honey, bees, and wax. Maybe. If we're lucky, yes, we got a piece of wax. Awesome. And pretty dinged up, but that's okay, because we can now go to the refugee camp. We can put more seeds in here. Which should start that off straight away. Yeah, it has started off. And we can now go and build the cooking place. Cooking table. There it is. Currently minus one happiness because it's just a pile of planks and barrels. There we go. So it's now turning the flour, the, the wheat into flour. I don't know whether it'll do more than that, but we'll see. Next up is a, we can do more beds or a new refugee, the free place. I don't know the free place bit but we'll work on that we also have silk in that and we can get more more max things there with it being night though i think everyone has gone to bed so we will check with that and we'll actually go to the quarry just to check in on things here i think that might be full so let's Extract some iron ore now. Probably not full, given it's only six, but hey, we can... We can prick, prickly... We can quickly bring this down. Along with some silver nuggets we found. There we go. And we can also... Dump the fitch here. Grab the... Gra the coal. Not the graphite. And we can head home as well. This teleport stone, everyone that suggested it and, and pointed out that it was only uh, two silver, but for permanent use, thank you. 
Oh my gosh, it's been a lifesaver. We are going to go to sleep simply because we want to recover some of the health as well. To me, that seems like a bit of a no-brainer. If we, if we get a body notification or something, we can always pop on back up. But it seems we'll get a, we'll get a good night's rest. And we're quite refreshed. We also have a ton of burial certificates. So I'm going to come up here. We are going to put in some more fuel from coal. And we are going to make, going to put in 56 divided by 2. 25 is 50. 26 will make 52. Uh, let's go to 28. So we're making 14 there. Oh, and we can do 28 here too. That is good to see. So we're just going to fuel that up. And then we are going to set this, both of these to go. And we're going to head on in to the dead horse. Where are you going? Do we need any of those? Probably not yet. Right. Trade. I want to sell you all of these. 15 silver. Nice. Um, yep, I'll take that. We're back to 91. We're getting close. Toasts with onions. Beer tastes better now. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that we can do there. Nothing that we really need to buy him. Buy from him, but we can ask for advice. Hello. Hey, Keeper. You here for dinner or having a beer? I'm full, thank you. I ate recently. I'd like to ask a bit of advice. My question might sound a little bit strange, though. Who would you say is the most prideful among the villagers or local folk? You asked me. Everyone in this village deserves each other. But I think I know what you're asking. I think I know this person very well. You meet him quite often. Handsome man with a beard. Are you talking about the bishop? Aha. Share the new insight. Okay, so we will have to do that. But it's time to go sweet home because we have a body here. And this may be our new zombie. We don't go through the body shoot. Gosh, Arch. Right, so we got this body. Throw it down. It'll be just a, a regular five skull body by the looks of it. But I realized just now that we should probably do the soul first. There we go, we got a harmed soul. There we go. I don't know how this works, but hey. We got modified flesh and modified skin in. So this is going to heal this. Got two sin shards. And no space. <laughs> I'm going to put the skin in here just so I can pick up this. There we go. There we go. That gets us a 13 gratitude. We'll take that skin. We've got another harmed soul. Why do we have another harmed soul? Oh, that was strange. Two more sin shards. And we got another harmed soul. I don't know if something is going wrong here. But we have the harmed soul. Okay, we have no harmed soul on us. We have the healed soul. And it's gone. 
Do we have to run it through multiple times? How strange. Either way, uh, we got ahead. But we are maxed out on the soul's gratitude now, so let's have a quick look. If you know what went on there, please do let me know down below. <laughs> um, this puts us at... Uh, updated equipment we can learn. Gets us a better soul extractor. And then the healing from these ones. So we have all the healing. We just need to actually get around to doing all of the extra work. Um, okay. So we're just going to go here and we're going to modify, take this modified skin and probably add some more red to it, I think. And then uh, another green, another white. So I'm thinking you just sort of need all of it. We'll see how it goes. We'll put the modified skin in, we'll keep the flesh and we'll put the modified flesh in. But that's all we need from these. We don't actually need the other bits. Oh, they must have decayed or something. I don't know. Either way, it appears to have been done. Let us take this soul out. Oh, this body, I should say. It's not a soul. We'll take this body out, plonk it over here, and get back to removing the icky bits. And that's it. I do also want to get another zombie, so I think we're going to use this one. It's a five star. Actually, it is a five star. I'd rather take one hit, like one star hit, on on something. Though we do have a seven star in here, and the red ones don't actually count. So maybe we could, uh... So if we look at this one. So this has seven, seven good ones. Yeah, I think we're going to do this. Just basically, the zombie, the zombie doesn't benefit from, um, the, the red star as much. So we're just going to dump a few things here so we can get the, everything going. We've got to get it in the ground shortly though. So let's exhume. Put in another nice gravestone. We'll keep the same name on it. You know, whoever comes along doesn't have to know that we uh, we changed the name. Going to take this around now. <laughs> and we're going to get ourselves a decent zombie. Hopefully. We, of course, now have to do a quick cheeky little run around to get more zombie juice, which I think we left in one of the... One of the... Uh, chests up here. Maybe this one. No, it's not where the zombie juice normally lives. Okay. And it's not on us, right? Yeah, no, we have moved it. That's, it's, at least there's a, a benefit there. We have actually moved it. Not there. Not there. Not there. Okay. I had zombie juice. We, we did have it. We moved it. We put it somewhere else. I'm thinking it's in the yard somewhere. There it is. It's in this one. There we go. So we can now pop on down, make ourselves a nice juicy zombie and put him to work somewhere. There we go. Resurrect. There we go. We have ourselves another zombie. Now, with that done, we can sort of just plonk him there and we can have a little bit of a look. 
because if I recall, is it in theology? No, it's not. Uh, maybe smithing. Nope, building? Zombie quarrying. So yeah, we can put them in the quarry or we can put them in the, the, the porter up there and have them run it. That's another option. Um, the design or my thoughts behind that are simply that we would then have all the resources coming in. However, they can be put to work in places like this. If I just have him sitting down here and I need, say, some simple iron parts. I can put him there and he will do it. He will work on those iron parts and I don't have to stand there. Which means I can save on resources. Well, not on resources, but I can save on parts. We are going to make some fish. And we are going to make some, maybe not some wooden things. We are just going to pop down here. Put a bit of... Get those two, put those in. Take the skin and the zombie juice back. And let's go put everything else away. So he's just happily down there working on that. We have a few things to put away. Uh, namely the bees, the wax, and the honey. So we'll put the honey in here. I don't think we use anything else directly here. But it should be all okay. He is working happily there. So I'm going to put the nails there. Bars there. Bitch there. We also have to uh, check out Clotho. Get that little bridge section rebuilt. And that would be a handy one to do. And just some general tidying up work. Such as getting rid of these things and, and the like. We are waiting for the happiness of the refugee camp to come back. We'll check in on that now, actually. Because we did also put in the thing. Is there anyone to speak to? It's like being in chains. I'm down to my last 12 types of relish. I can't bear it. Your kitchen is ready. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, but... But? This kitchen... It's different from my luxury kitchen in my former elite restaurant. Maybe you'll be so incredibly darling that... Well, I could improve it. I could allow you to cook more effectively and with greater pleasure. Alright, so we now have the... Upgrade that, most likely. We have a ton of dough, too. That is... That is great. I wonder if they just keep making the dough. Um, cooking table two. We've just got to get to eight happiness, which means, um, probably put in another residential tent, which requires silk and all of that good stuff. But it seems to me that we are certainly progressing along this. Oh, wow. This is already growing. Um, yeah, going to put some more wheat in. Keep that dough coming. And that's where we'll wrap up for today, though. Um, we've fixed the kitchen, we've gotten a new zombie, he's currently working in the yard. We've also sold a whole bunch of those, those, uh, burial receipts. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please do leave a like down below. If you have any comments, suggestions, feedback, or anything, please do feel free to comment down below as well. And if you'd like to see more and you're not subscribed already, please do subscribe. Everyone counts. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye for now.